Hello, my name's Ari Novi. I'm the president and CEO here at San Diego Botanic Garden. And just to prove to you how much we love plants, today I'm going to say wonderful things about this weed that stings you called stinging nettle. Um, stinging nettle, a lot of you might know from your own uh, backyards. It tends to grow just after rains or in the wettest part of the year here in California. Uh, its Latin name is uh, Urtica dioica, and it actually is not native to California, but comes from Eurasia and Northern Africa. But it's widely been naturalized here in the United States for many, many years hundreds of years in fact. And it's a weed and so most people try to get rid of it, but it also has some wonderful uses. Uh, it does provide some beautiful green in those winter months when we just want to see a little bit more lushness, um, but it's actually delicious and you can make the best pesto um, and even use it to fill things like tortellini uh, as well as, as, as calzones or on top of pizza. But you have to be careful when handling it because it does have these little hairs all over it that are actually called trichomes and they function like little tiny hypodermic needles that inject these substances into you that give you contact dermatitis, or in other words, they sting you. Um, the stinging doesn't last for too long. It goes away in a couple of hours, typically, but you still want to avoid it. And so typically you'd want to handle it either very carefully or with gloves. But when you do collect these, you can saute them like spinach and then use that sauteed product to make all kinds of different things. Great in soup, great in pesto, as I said, and you can even use the dried leaves and make absolutely wonderful tea. So here at San Diego Botanic Garden, we care for plants big and small, rare and common, even the weedy ones, we love them all, and we hope you'll come and join us soon.